Hi, Jocelyn Feraldo. Charmed, I'm sure. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the video. Today, I'm going to be sharing the character art that I put together for the character I'm getting to play in my current D&D campaign. Or, not really a D&D campaign at the moment. We have jumped over in my uh, Tuesday night group to a game called Blades in the Dark. Um, for those of you unfamiliar with the Blades in the Dark system, uh, it is powered by the Apocalypse, and it is essentially based around the idea of heists, right? You are a gang, you do heists. And it is... I've been having so much fun with this. I've had like two or three sessions so far. I wanted to get the character art put together. It's so cool. My character's name is Jocelyn Feraldo. She is what's called a slide in the rule book, which means she's the talky, charismatic face of the criminal organization that we've all joined up with. Um, I kind of based her look a little bit, I want to say, on like maybe a shorter version of um, Marissa Tomei's character from My Cousin Vinny. Like she's kind of, I wanted her to have kind of that vibe, but a little bit more bohemian, dressed down, comfortable shoes, but like bringing some of that little bit of attitude, little bit of like can talk her way out of anything. And this game has been so much fun. Um, there is actually some dispute as to whether Blades in the Dark ought to be considered a Powered by the Apocalypse game. And to be fair, it adds a lot to the Powered by the Apocalypse formula. But you can 100% see that Powered by the Apocalypse formula at its core, right? Powered by the Apocalypse, it uses playbooks. A lot of it is being able to retroactively say like, oh, and here's a thing that's happening in the story that I want to change about the world. And there is a core mechanic to Blades in the Dark that I think is super cool and a really interesting cross-section of preparation versus being able to kind of rewrite the story a little bit. Essentially, the way your inventory works when you go on a heist is you decide your load, right? You can do a light load, medium load, heavy load. Heavy load makes you look a lot more suspicious. You're basically showing up like armed soldiers. Light load, you're kind of strolling in more like James Bond, just fitting in with this high society crowd or, you know, you look like you belong. You don't look like you're geared up for a heist. But those determine how many items in the course of the heist you can retroactively say, oh yeah, I packed this, by the way. And that way of doing things really helps the narrative flow, right? You know, think about James Bond again, right? Q gives him exactly the items he needs for his mission. If they weren't writing that entire plot ahead of time and then filming it, those items would not match up, right? If you were making it up as you go along, there is no way Q could give him the perfect items every time. This fits that narrative idea, is you have the flashbacks to meeting your Q or whatever you did to prepare, and what you got out of that uh, situation, out of that moment, and with what you now have your hands on, you can say, oh yeah, before we left, I packed blank, and that'll be perfect for this situation. And it's so good. Like, it really fits the Powered by the Apocalypse ethos and vibe to be able to kind of call an audible and have a flashback that way. And deciding how many times you can do that ahead of time and whether you want to accept complications that come from just being geared up to the nines. It's such a great cross-section of how you prepare versus how you improvise. And it really just makes the whole thing feel so cool. And this one, there's a lot going on. It's tied to this like other world that our D&D world is set in. And we're like trying to see through sort of the fade and the fairy hedge elements to it and figure out and plot our way out of this strange world we've been dumped into to lie to us and keep us amused. Very, very interesting. Love those story tropes. Same time, I kind of want to come back to this system and just play it by the numbers as it is, because it is such a neat system, and I'd love to do more with it. I think the next character I want to make is going to be what they call the Cutter class. So like, big, burly, whew, I can punch the guy, right? And just have his long-term project be saving up for a good car, because I really want to make Jason, Jason Statham's character from Transporter in this system. 
I think this system would be so cool to play as him in. And so, I don't know, all that said, here is my drawing of Jocelyn Feraldo, my character in my current Blades in the Dark campaign, and I am so loving this system and so excited to try it again sometime. Um, and just keep playing with new systems that I've been loving kind of seeing the move away from 5e and seeing more people more open to trying new things and man I am here for it so uh, thank you for watching hope you enjoyed the video I will see you guys next time bye thank you for watching please share the video with a friend or several friends and let me know in the comments if there's anything you'd like to see me draw in a future video later y'all